my hair is in my face. Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Hello, I'm Maddie, and this video here is my Stranger Con vlog kind of thing. I don't really know how this video is gonna go at all because I have no idea what's gonna happen. This is my outfit here. I love it. Have my Hellfire Club shirt, which is from Hot Topic. My flannel, which is from Nordstrom Rack. And then these black jeans. These jeans are from American Eagle. And then I have my Converse, which are from, well, they're just Converse. They're not from anywhere, but yeah, that's my outfit. I still need to put on all of my rings and my watch and then my bag. But besides that, this is the outfit. I'm about to go join my mom in the waiting line for like registration. <laughs> I'm Steph with Creation. Welcome to Stranger Con Los Angeles! Oh, Stranger Con! What's happening? Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Are you having a beautiful day? Yeah. How are we feeling, Stranger Con? Yeah. Oh, come on. All right, let's ask you again. How are we feeling, Stranger Con? Yeah. Yes! What's up, everyone? Hello. Saturday morning. It's like Saturday morning cartoons, but in real life. And I'm the most chill cartoon ever. Uh, I was wondering, out of all the scenes you filmed, which ones have taken, which one took the longest and why? Uh, which scene took the longest? Um, in Stranger Things or just in general? In Stranger Things. Oh yeah, okay. Um, I would have to say, uh, yeah, they all took the, they all took about the same amount of time. Yeah, I was there for about a, a week for each shoot. So, yeah, about a week. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, pants, jeans, probably on the internet. Um, this shirt I got at Kohl's. Uh, and then we have this goofy shirt which I got on eBay. are hey dudes, they're super comfy. Highly recommend them. Give it up, raise your voices for the one, the only, Go ahead and take a few steps forward. Audience, by a round of applause, you're going to vote. 
vote for your favorite. Okay, here we go. It doesn't always go that well, and that's the best Billy cosplay I've ever seen, I think. So it's changed. When I was young, I used to have a, like I was terrified of tornadoes. Living in Oklahoma, you get it. Both of you. Uh, terrified of tornadoes. Where if it started raining outside, down in the cell. Like I, I was, play, I, I hated them. Um, started to get over that last year. And then, <laughs> there we go. Uh, but, uh, and then I developed like a fear of, someone breaking into my house and kidnapping me. <laughs> I had a lot of fears. I think it's like too many crime documentaries or something. But, um, so then I was terrified of that. Um, and now I think it's just, uh, I mean, now my fear might be, uh, I don't know, like uh, hitting a shank off, like with my irons. I don't know if anyone golfs, but it, it, Man, I'll tell you what, when you have the shanks, and you hop up to that next shot, you can feel it, like you are terrified. Uh, and then another one is, you know, just slicing it off the first tee box in front of the clubhouse, everyone's watching. You don't want to have to take a breakfast ball. Like you just want to pipe it. And if, if you don't golf, this is gonna go over your head, but if you golf, you're like, I get that. And, and I was wondering that, like if Chrissy didn't die, or she died like later in the season, um, and if you obviously weren't in the show, just watching it as an audience member, would you want her to end up with Jason or Eddie? <laughs> uh, Eddie. I mean, it, it, like, here's the thing. Like, yeah, we could clap for that. Um, bottom line, Eddie and Chrissy were, like, much better for each other. You see it just in that one scene. And it's like, yeah, true, we don't actually see Jason and Chrissy interact. That's one thing I thought was funny. Like when I was reading the script, and like I was like, "Wait, I don't even have any scenes with Chris." Like I'm in the auditorium with her, but like when I was shooting that scene, I would she's not there because the cameras are on me, and I'm just looking at just like a green dot. I'm like, "Chris, love you, babe." <laughs> so it's like I didn't actually really get to work with Chris, uh, but um, but no, definitely, definitely Ed. <laughs> A, a fit check. Oh, what a fit check. What I'm wearing? Yeah. All right. So here we go. I mean, I, I, this is just a check. Do I have to like stay off what I'm wearing? Okay, well, so, all right. Okay. I like how I just decided, okay. So I got these boots my sister got them for me while I was in sign up. Um, like, I think six or seven years ago. <laughs> Uh, and I love them, they're falling apart. Uh, pants. Oh, they're probably Levi's. Um, and the shirt. It's a green shirt. And I don't, I don't know where it's from. I'm not here, you can't tell I'm not a big fashion guy. But, pitch it. You know them as several things. Maybe you've seen them on Broadway as Matilda. Maybe you see them as Susie on Stranger Things. But right now, give your voices and your applause for the one, the only, Gabriella Pasola! Oh my gosh! Let me just say that was like the best.
the best announcement I've ever heard. That was like so hyped. That's one of the best compliments I've ever gotten. So that's, uh, thank you. Awesome. Do you guys feel hyped up? This is awesome. It's so good to see you all. You're all so gorgeous. I love seeing you. Uh, oh my gosh. This is awesome. I feel like I've met most of you at photo ops, but this is so great. I feel like I see everybody now. My question is, are you Team Steve or Team Jonathan? Team Steve or Team Jonathan. This is this is really hard. On Team Robin. Ooh. I've seen that too. I've seen people who ship uh, Nancy and Robin. That's so interesting. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I'd say Team Robin too, but <laughs> I, I have to say if it if it's between. Nancy Jonathan, Nancy Steve. Ooh. I feel like. Was, it's was, it a Nancy, was it a Nancy Jonathan or just one or the other? Um, one or the other. Oh, one oh. or the other. Okay. Um, I feel like I gotta be. I gotta be honest. I think that they're both really admirable and have grown a lot since the first season. I mean, obviously, Steve is a totally different person. They set him up to be like the main, like, teenage antagonist, and now he's literally the babysitter who helps out with everyone and is, like, fighting Demogorgons and saving little kids. Like, I mean, come on. And you have he's Jonathan... He's the Pascal Street. Yeah. <laughs> he's always leading the children to safety. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's the mom of the group. I, I saw on um, Instagram they shared Happy Mother's Day, uh, Stranger Things, and it was Steve. Um, and I was like, that's so perfect. Um, and Jonathan also has grown to, like, he, he went through so much and now is starting to become a totally different person. And I think that if I had to choose, I would, I would choose Steve because I love the character development. But I think that um, a lot of the debate between Nancy and Jonathan and Nancy and Steve, I feel like Steve deserves somebody who better fits the person that he has become, and I think that Nancy and Jonathan have grown a lot together, and I think that that's also incredible. So I feel like it kind of, um, when when Steve, if he were to go back with Nancy, um, I feel like it could maybe, in a way, like disregard all the change that he's been through. And I, I think that, um, yeah, he's definitely willing and, and deserving of somebody who, is totally like new and on the same page with him about the person he is now, not knowing the person that he once was, you know? That's beautiful. Yeah. Great question, man. You know what? You know what's so funny? Is that I actually thought for the first time I might actually not sit in a random story at a panel. And I was like, whoa, this is so odd, nobody's asked it yet. Usually that's the first thing that people ask. So yes, I will sing it, um, but I don't have Gaten with me, so you guys, you know, and Chester, you're gonna have to be- I got the lyrics here. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, yeah, I'm awesome. not a pro. You're gonna have to do a duet with me. Uh, I, I can't sing it solo, it's, it's, it's a duet. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, let's go for it. Awesome, okay. everybody ready? Okay, we're gonna do like a sing-along. It's like warm up for karaoke later. Yeah. Awesome, okay, ready? Turn around. Look at what you see in her face, the mirror of your dreams, make believe I'm everywhere, giving in the light, written on the pages is the answer to our Your hands together for one of the coolest people on the planet, my friend. You know, you love him. You can't get enough of him. The one, the only, Caleb. Good, good, good. Hey, love. Hey. Uh, my name is Sunshine, and my question for you is if Lucas 
had a TikTok, what would his internet be? And what kind of content would he post? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a good one. I haven't thought about it. So, um, okay, I think it would be, um, ooh, it would be, um, um, uh, 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 what's his name? Oh my gosh. Uh, man, help me out. You guys are probably going to really punch me in the face for this one. Okay. What's the character of, um, I'm so, I feel so bad for saying this, oh my gosh, you guys are, okay, Karate Kid, what's his name? Ralph. Ralph, yes, I feel like it'd be like Ralph, like, like Ralph, probably like one, two, three, because <laughs> in, like in season three, if you notice, Lucas had the Karate Kid reference, but he's really into that, and then his content would probably be like riding bikes with the guys, like day in the life riding bikes with the guys or D and D content, um, and uh, probably pranks. What do you do pranks on his sister? Uh, no. But yeah, I think riding bikes with the guys, day in the life, TikToks and D and D. Oh, oh, special dates with Max or something like that. <laughs> like the date night out with Bay. Go into the movies, look, I set something up for her. Look, guys, look at what I drew. <laughs> Maybe something like that. That was a good question. This was 13-year-old Caleb. This is not 21, Caleb. Okay. All right? Scene, we're on the bus, season one. It's one of those, every, it's always around that time of the year, like February, January, I have like the worst, I had, had, not have, had the like the worst, like, Gas, like it's just it happens. I don't know, like you know, you have parts that's like, oh, it's, it's far, it stinks. No, it was bad. It's just bad. And also, I had bacon, egg, and cheese burritos every morning. I don't do that anymore because I'm an adult and I have to learn and think and eat better. All right, that's what I had every morning. So we're on the bus. It's closed. It's freezing. So we're trying to keep it warm in there. I did a nice little silent. You know, but I, it wasn't loud though. It wasn't loud. We're doing the scene, and then all, and then Matt, it's like, oh, oh my God, what is that smell? Cut, cut. They open the door. I was like, leave, leave, evacuate. I'm like, who is that? Oh, that was nasty. And he was like, you was Caleb. I know it was Caleb. He did that in the school trailer earlier. I'm like, bro, why are you stingy? And it's like, oh my God, it was Caleb. Then it rose, it was Caleb, it was Caleb! Yeah, it was me. Uh, that was really embarrassing because Aiden spit snitch. I would have kept going. I was like, yeah, who was that? Ugh. That stink! Ugh. It was me. Okay, and I've got the first uh, way through the course. It's going to be Rock You Like a Mind Flayer. Wow. And then it's Rock You Like a Vector Hurricane, alright? So this goes out to the plane. How many of you have played? You're all playing out there? Alright, here we go.
What, what was the last part you said right now? Um, do you, would you say that you're similar to your character? I'm similar to my character. I think, uh, I mean, uh, I think we all obviously put a little bit of ourselves. I think every actor has probably ever said that or believed it, unless they don't, I don't know, right? Um, uh, I think, yeah, I think we all put a little bit of ourselves into the, the character just to, obviously you have to make it your own, you know what I mean? Whatever, yeah, to, to, to try to make it lifelike, you know? And um, uh, I don't think I'm, I'm like him because, uh, uh, well, for, you know, obviously a lot of reasons, but uh, but uh, for one reason being like the way the guy can just, uh, you know, endure something and uh, sort of move on, move past it, you know what I mean? Despite how, uh, you know, how massive the whatever predicament he could be in. For example, burying a human body out in the desert, okay? as something I don't think I could, uh, you know, move on from, I feel, I think realistically, but, you know, like I said, like I was just talking to, you know, Charlie about it, I like, man, I fucking, I, I pissed my pants in elementary school, that, that, that messed me up, man, you know what I mean? That messed me up to this day, <laughs> I'm still dealing with it, <laughs> so that's what I mean, so it's like, of course, man. I wish there was a lot of things about Argyle. I wish I could, I could be, and uh, you know, cool, lay back, not, not worrying about a goddamn thing. I'm, that's not me. I'm the opposite of all that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have time for one more question. Okay, you. I know you. I know you touched on this a little bit, but like, what are some of your favorite memories and relationships you remember from making on set? I think playing Nintendo with the boys, man. Playing Nintendo with, with all of them. Pokemon Stadium was was the best. Mario Tennis, obviously. Mario Tennis with Charlie was, was hilarious. Because Charlie was screaming at me. But Pokemon Stadium with, uh, with Finn and Charlie was hilarious because Finn could not win, ever. And with Pokemon Stadium, we're, we're just like, we're screaming at each other and, and uh, it was, it was the, it, that was probably, I think, like the funnest, dumbest like offset memories, you know what I mean? Like when we're not working. Yeah. Thank you, bud. Okay, everybody. Give it up for Eduardo! What a legend, dude! Absolutely awesome!
you know, things, you know, for, for at least for, for the Jonathan story, you know, and Jonathan and Nancy there. Things, things are difficult, you know, they've, uh, they've had this distance and then they kind of come back and, you know, the world is ending and, and it's like so crazy to kind of think about, you know, this, this relationship outside of everything that's going on. Um, but, uh, I don't know, it'd be nice if they like, kind of still get some like nice tender moments, but I don't know, like they, they talk and they kind of, you know, I think there's a lot of love there, so. I want you to put your voices together, Earth, for the one, the only, Noah! Hello, hi guys. All right, we're back. Hi guys. Hi. All right. Wow, this is crazy. Thank you guys all so much for coming out here. Um, love you guys all. Alright. My name is Eve. Um, since season 5 is last, where do you want your character to be about? And what do you hope for him in the future? Hope for season 5? Um, I mean, I think we all hope that Will just has uh, an easy time next season. I think just is happy. Like, let's end the show where he has everything he wants and is not sad. Um, I, I love it, I support it. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen with that, but I um, guess we'll see. I, I mean, I don't want anyone to be disappointed if there is no fire, but I think whatever happens next season, I, I, I hope for Will just to be happy and get what he needs to get off his chest, and I think that's what's most important for him. Thank you so much. Thank you. And my question is, who do you like working with the most? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I, I obviously love working with Millie, but it, it can be a lot sometimes because it's just so chaotic and like, so I think it's so much fun It's with her, but it's also, I think, I mean, I, want, I would honestly say from last season with Eduardo, Charlie, and Finn was like probably one of my most fun times filming. Um, I can't pick any, I don't know. I mean, every group I've been with so far has been amazing. I, I would love to work with Robin, I think. Like, I don't, I feel like I don't want to see him. Question is, um, what is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you, and who, in your opinion, is the coolest celebrity that you've ever met? Oh my god, I just met Justin Bieber like five days ago. <laughs> oh my god, it was the craziest thing ever. I was. Oh my god. It's like, those are moments where I'm like, my life is not real. Like, what is going on? And I, re I mean, I was at this, like, after party for the Oscars, you know, just the usual Saturday. Um, and I turned around and Justin Bieber's right there. And I was like, oh my god, I love you! And he was like, thanks, man. Like, I appreciate it. And like, when he was walking out, he like remembered my face. He was like, take care, dude. I was like, hey! Oh. Also, like, Billie Eilish ran up to me and was, was like, I love you! I was like, I love you! <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. I'm such a, like, little fan girl, but like, oh my god. Yeah, so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Basically, you guys meeting me are, you're basically meeting Justin Bieber. Because his <laughs> scent is freshly there in the two days ago. And my question is, if anyone else in the show have Will's haircut, who would you want it to be? Um, I think Vecna, because Vecna deserves it. <laughs> Screw Vecna. I think I would kill off... Oh, no, but Vecna's a good man. Kettling, I would kill... Um, like, Will? Will? <laughs> I love Will, but like, if I were to have like a bad ending, I feel like I, I would like to see it. Like a cool, like dramatic death scene. Like, no! I'm like, dying and I'm like sacrificing myself. And I'm like, I love you! Like, I can see it. And then like, he, as he dies, he like tells Mike and finally confesses his love and he's like, ah. 
Oh. I should I should write this one. Is that my dance? Mom? Mom, please, I'm so scared. And then she comes back. Oh my god, this is the scariest moment now. Yeah. Yeah. Is everything okay? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, we'll just ignore that.